Hi, I'm Captain Ivan Castro. I tell people life has its dangers and challenges, but that's no excuse to stop trying because life is a contact sport filled with danger and excitement. I lost my eyesight in the Iraq war, but I've chosen to move forward with my life despite challenges of being blind. And now I have more joy than I ever would imagine. I speak to audiences across the country, sharing my journey from despair to hope. The young musician I'm introducing you today has found a way to push through his adversity, blindness, to share his gift with audiences everywhere. You'll be astounded when you hear how much he's learned about faith and courage at such a young age. Surely he has the real winning edge. One of the worst things we have in the field of, of eye care is a blind, painful eye because there's nothing we could do to control the pain. Every day was a constant battle for him because he would always be in pain. Every day, every hour. When Mike was born, he was born with a twin. And 11 days later, Michael's twin passed away from a staph infection at the hospital. Each of them were weighing at one pound, five ounces. Three and a half months later, Michael came home from the hospital and we spent three years on oxygen in machines and um, you know, going to physical therapy every single day, five days a week. I couldn't see out of both eyes. I was blind since I was four months. I got started playing the piano when I was two years old. My mother bought me a toy piano and it played standard lullabies within minutes memorized those lullabies. Michael has never had any piano lessons his whole life until up about a year ago. He has taken the, the prodigy in him of being able to just hear a song and turn around and play it. Dr. Scott has been very, very helpful because there are certain things on the piano that I cannot see, and Dr. Scott is helping me with that. You know, he's up for whatever piece I, I throw at him, and I'm always trying to throw bigger and bigger challenges. Um, Michael always comes back with the music ready sooner than I'm ready for. One of my most memorable experiences with Michael was um, I'm attending a concert where Michael was also in attendance, and Michael heard one of the pieces on the concert, and then about an hour later, without having practiced, sat down and played the piece that he had heard, and it was, it was really pretty impressive. My greatest achievement for playing the piano is that I can actually create my own compositions. So I start by picking a simple key and then start playing in that key. My mother signed me up for a, fail, a talent show. I was so terrified the first time when I played the piano in front of people. I got through the finals. I won their prize. I felt like the Lord has just taught me so much about music. God has helped me learn how to play piano. So I started learning Braille when I was only three years old. Mrs. Vito started me was since I was in kindergarten. She helps me get my assignments worked or caught up. I have a Braille note taker, an iPhone, which I currently use for school, and I also have an iPad 2. Probably one of my favorite things about Michael is the way that he um, touches other students. He wrote this incredible brochure, but the best part about it was he said, one of my favorite quotes is by Helen Keller. The quote states, the only thing worse than being blind is having sight but no vision. People limit themselves to expectations instead of going for their dreams. They know him, they love him, and they actually watch out for him. He's, he's kind of like a, a role model for somebody who never gets up angry or get in trouble or anything like that. I love to sing vibrato, and I it can also sing in different languages like Latin. But the choir that Michael's a part of is my most advanced choir, and coming in as a freshman, he's the first freshman that we've had as part of that group. Michael is just a joy to work with because he always comes in with a smile on his face. He's uh, really in pain, physical pain a lot of the time, but he never lets it show. 
I first met Michael when he was almost 10 years of age. He's been blind since birth. He unfortunately developed this condition that led to retinal detachments. Him, he was dealing with constant severe eye pain for about 10 years. So Michael recently underwent a procedure called enucleation, which is a removal of his eye. And this was a very difficult decision for him. And once he made that decision to finally have his eye removed, uh, he's much better off. And he is able to continue what he's doing on a daily basis, his love of music, going to school. I can see his confidence increasing daily. And I can't wait to see what he's going to show us. I have a little sister who is eight years old. And me and her like to do things together. I got started rock climbing when the Vision Resource Center had a summer camp for blind and visually impaired people. After I, my first climb, I climbed all the way to the top. It felt like whenever I went down the wall, I felt like I was flying. I think one of our biggest successes here at the climbing place has been Michael Mateus. And I saw Michael do his first climb, and uh, you know, it changed him. Uh, and you know, it changed just about everything he did. He came back many, many times after that. And, so, you know, we're pretty excited about it. Recently, I had a enucleation, which is an eye removal of the eyeball, and God helped me, just, I mean, helped me healed very well. Being so premature, you know, Michael should have cerebral palsy. I mean, he should not be walking around. He should not be a piano prodigy. And being able to do the talent show is what pushed the local newspaper to do an article on him. After that, we started getting phone calls of people asking for him to come play at civic organizations. And the biggest thing that Michael strives off is the audience. He never asks to get paid. The only thing that he likes is to hear the audience clap and cheer for him. What has given me the real winning edge is that God has helped me with my disability, and God has just helped me like play the piano and do some other things that I can't do because I can't see. I thank God for this.